What's up everybody, welcome today. This is a video specifically for those users who are really efficient with Revit, but are struggling to adapt and transfer that knowledge over to Archicad. Uh, there's nothing more frustrating when you know something is really simple to do in one program, but for whatever reason you need to use the other program and you don't know how to do it. And it feels like a handicap. You feel like you're trying to run without legs and it can cause a lot of frustration. So let's have a look here. I'm gonna quickly demonstrate in Revit what I'm talking about. So in Revit, let's say you wanna cut a hole in a wall or a floor. It's really simple, especially when you wanna do custom stuff. You can just go edit boundary and draw shapes. And there you go, you got your holes. You probably already know this, so I'm not gonna spend much time on this at all. And you have complete control over what you wanna do with these elements. But in Archicad, yeah, this is the same setup, a wall and a floor that I drew earlier. Now we can do the same thing by selecting one of the nodes and choosing subtract from polygon. So once again, I can just draw a hole and there we go. So for floors, it's the same, it's fine. But if you're using a wall and you wanna cut a hole in a wall, it's a little bit more difficult. There's no subtract option. So there's two ways that you can do this. You can either use a door or a window and you can use a empty window opening. And you've got a whole range of different shapes here, which is super helpful, which is usually gonna cater for what you need to do. And you just drop that in, and then you'd edit that hole just like you would any window. So you can change the size or the properties of that form. But what happens if you wanna create a complex form? So just like in our Revit window, once again, if we go over here, you can see I want to make a complex form. I just had a profile. I have the freedom to draw with my lines and I can draw whack shapes and Revit just automatically cuts the hole in the wall. Now we can do that in Archicad as we saw. What we're gonna do is we use more forms. We draw our complex shape like so. That's our morph. We got to extrude it. Go on crazy. Like so. Now we want that more form to be cutting through the wall like so. I like to create my more forms using a glass so that it's a little bit more transparent and you'll see why in a minute. Now I'll make a video with this. If you're not too familiar with the layers settings in Archicad, it's really important to get all over that because this needs to be on its own layer. Generally we want it in hidden so that it's not showing up when you're doing your 3D views. But for this sake, while we're cutting the form, we need to have show and unlock all. And what we do is we use our solid element operations. If you don't know how to use this tool, go back to my previous video. I uh, will put the link down in the description so you can watch that one. We wanna use target operator elements, target elements, and select subtraction and execute. You can see here now we've got our complex form. Now it seems a bit more complicated and in reality it is. Um, but that is how we do it. And that's the most efficient way that I've found. If you know a better way, please throw it down in the comments and we'll get on top of it and we'll upload a new fresh piece of content. Now, if you go Jacob, I just hate more forms. I'm still just trying to learn Archicad. I will quickly show you an easier alternative. What you can do here is instead of using a morph, you can draw as a slab, right? So you can just draw your form if you know what the dimensions are, if you know what you need that hole to look like. Draw whatever you want like this. Perfect. We've got our floor, we've got our wall. For the sake of this, I'm gonna change this so that it's just one form. I'm gonna make it thicker because we will need it to cut through the wall like we did before with the morph form. Now we need to rotate the slab up. So you can't rotate the slab, I believe, maybe we can. 
Yep, no, you can't. So the way that we do this is we actually convert this slab into a morph form. And you can do this with most shapes. So now it's gonna say this, you see, okay, it's converted this floor into a morph form. And now we just go here, we rotate it up, move it up and over so that it's cutting the wall like so, covering it up. And we follow the same process. That's your operator, your walls, your target, subtract, execute. Make sure that this is on the hidden layer. And there you go. You've got your cut for your custom form. Now obviously for your design, I assume the cuts can be a lot more sophisticated than this, but hopefully this helps you learn how to cut custom holes in walls. And this would apply for any other shape as well that you're creating. Um, look forward to future videos to show more complex forms such as domes and whatnot. Uh, if you would like anything in particular, please throw it down in the comments and I will get on creating that video so that you can get on with your designs. So you can spend much more time creating and less time crying. I appreciate you. Thank you for watching this video and good luck. Ciao.